you know. All the speed going on here. Gonna hurt. It's not caring. Um, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Missed the opportunity. Don't miss the opportunity. Oh, miss the opportunity there. Mates, no, he can still move. Oh, shut up. 
Okay, that'll be the last one for today. Let's have a look at the analysis quickly. Four inaccuracies for me, one mistake, one blunder. Two inaccuracies, two mistakes, and four blunders. 79% for the opponent. Okay, a very, very quick shifty. Uh, I have to go. Let's capture, captured. Yeah, so they had a nice little attack thing going there with the knight attacking the pawn. So understanding that I don't have the castle, you know, the traditional way. The only piece that really can save that pawn is the king. Felt fairly safe. Um, because it's on a white square, the white square bishops off the board. So capturing, putting pressure onto the rook. The rook is like in the centre of the board. This is like one of those classical situations where <clears throat> rooks don't really have any place in the centre of the board. But it's trying to maintain that pressure. I don't think we did it right, obviously. Uh, we were supposed to bring. Oh, for crying out loud! Look, I can see it now. Ugh. Capture in there, it's a fork, skewer, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh you can. Hindsight, when you do evaluation, you can really do yourself in. Okay, so we didn't see that. <laughs> oh, dear me. So they moved the rope and we supported the palm. And we captured the rook because the rook stayed there. And sometimes it's quite hard, you know, you see a pawn move, you don't really see what's behind the pawn. And that happens to quite many players, you know, it's the discovered check on a piece. So we could take, so we gained the advantage back anyway. So that rook really should have been gone earlier on. So it was almost like karma in a sense. Now that we're looking at it, okay. So now we can take. Look, I took it then with a check on the king. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, oh, my word. So now just pushing the pawns up, just getting a half decent position, and the rook is in the centre of the board yet again. So this is so key as to why we don't have the rooks in the centre of the board. This rook was getting trapped. It couldn't go anywhere. It was blocking itself in, which is good because then it doesn't have any play in the game. So it did get its way out, but not before we got a, a nice decent position on the board and the poor rook is just going back into the same cage again and it lands on the bishop. So that's a bit unfortunate yet again. So we missed the earlier pin, you know, with the rook putting the pin through onto the bishop, onto the king. I thought, well, they're going to move the bishop now, but they didn't, so we could take the bishop off. And at this point now, it's plain sailing now. But you have to just be mindful of the old stalemate situation. Okay, so that's the whole all. I've enjoyed the, today's session. Bye for now.